All right, guys, what's going on? DJ Hetz here. We're back. I got my channel back. I'm so excited. Wanted to show you guys the sneaker room, kind of updated, and then I will actually show you guys the entire house uh, tour part. But I figured I'd start here for those that are interested in this part. And then if you don't want to see the rest of the house, because it's more of just like adult, like, hey, look at my couch stuff. Like, if you don't want to see that, then you can focus on the sneaker room and uh, we can kind of go from there. Um, also, I, w I might do a follow up. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I might do a follow up video or I'll link in the description a video that I did. Um, on my other channel explaining what happened to this channel and why it was terminated and um, you know I, I might do a video of a follow-up just to tell you guys how I got back because it is a major pain in the ass and basically what ends up happening is somebody's false flagging my channel um, claiming that they own my content uh, from multiple and I, we know who this person is it's very apparent I'm not gonna disclose any names but it's just ridiculous that the, the the distance this person will go to just try to eliminate my channel They've been working on trying to eliminate my channel for four months now from what I've been seeing. Uh, and it's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, bottom line is I'm still here. The channel is still here. It probably will get flagged again. I'm, I'm working on some measures to avoid this from happening again. Uh, but as of right now, all three strikes that were thrown on my, my account have been removed, which is great news. Um, I'm really, really happy about that because it just it's just such a pain to deal with. But anyway, I'll, I might do some other stuff about that. Leave a comment if you guys are really interested and hearing more about that, uh, shout out to Shuzium. He mentioned it on Twitter that he was kind of interested in, in seeing stuff about that. But I wanted to just show you guys kind of an updated look at the shoe room and the house for this video and try to keep them separate. I honestly was going to try to do all of it in one video and I was just like, this is just dumb to kind of bundle both of these videos. But I am back. Thank you guys for the constant support um, and the constant messages I got on Twitter and Instagram and those that followed my other account just randomly just trying to figure out what happened to my channel investigative little folks that you guys are I, I do appreciate you guys you guys rock um and uh let's go ahead and jump into it so this is the sneaker room i guess i'll give you a 360 which is not very fun because there's not much else out here actually so it's just really this so there's my desk area so my work computer my gaming setup over here uh and then just like sneakers here those are lebrons over in that corner so it's a huge disaster because i haven't put any of the lebrons away Nike SBs was kind of over in this area, and um, and off brands or, or non-Nike or Jordan brands were over in this area as well. Obviously, you can see the lighting uh, that I got. Now I have some um, some softbox kind of lights or whatever they're called. Um, Jordan 3s up in this section. Jordan 2s and 3s. Uh, foams down here uh, along with um, Kobe's and some other uh, miscellaneous stuff, but mostly foams. And if they're in different boxes, it's because I just have them in different boxes. Um, like Jordan 11s and 10s. Jordan fives and sixes in this section, uh, nines through fourteens or whatever down there. Uh, Jordan ones and twenty twenty threes, twenty twos and and the upper uh, Jordans up there, but a lot of Jordan ones. And then Jordan fours and then countdown pack and then in the closet there's a whole bunch of other stuff um, that I couldn't fit out here. So kind of the way it is for now. Uh, as you can see, I, I mean these are all of the LeBrons that um, I had up. The video if you missed it, um, my wife was guessing all of the LeBron elevens. Uh, and it happened one day before the channel got shut down. It was kind of a bummer. So fun uh, to have her guess just random things. If you guys didn't see it, check it out and see what she calls these things right here. It's so funny. Uh, she's a good sport for doing that. She really just didn't want to, but I talked her into it. I also have another video uh, for her of her top five running shoes and at, for perfor perfor performance side more of. Um, and so she just talks about those. And she's wearing the same clothes in that video, just so you guys know, because it was filmed that same day. But anyway... Uh, and then I wore these the other day actually, so they're just still chilling up here um, out of the box. I gotta probably clean up the soles and put them back. But Dornbecker fives. I, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Heskicks, and uh, you will see. You know, I wore those the other day. Um, my Transformers down there, and oh yeah, my Simpsons Lego house is up here, right up there. Pretty exciting stuff. But uh, anyway, so that's pretty much the sneaker room. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys the rest of the house tour now. So at this point, if you guys are not interested in seeing the rest. I would stop watching now, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump in. So, um, spare room number two, I guess, because that one is number one. It has this green, all green look to it, and people are like, you should do the green screen thing, but not really my cup of tea. Uh, and the wife hates this color, so she's already started to do the trim, set it up, and all we have to do is paint it. We're going to paint it like a gray color. Um, so that's going to happen. Then we have spare bathroom number, I guess, one. Or with a spare shower and stuff like that and then um washer and dryer that's highly inappropriate right there that's you don't want to see that 
Um, I don't know what, why her brassiers are. You know, whenever I do the laundry for us, it's a bad move because I'll just throw those right in the dryer. Uh, it's never a good look. But nice wash and dryer set uh, over there. The Dyson. We got a good little puppy right here named Lola. And then uh, we have the other spare room here. This is just really like extra coats and everything. But uh, spare bed in case we have guests. And then uh, the wife is painting the trim part in the other room as well. See, I told you guys I wouldn't want to watch. This is boring stuff if you guys don't care about this stuff. Um, bathroom. Like the uh, tub. It's fun to have a nice big old tub. And if you guys don't have a water pick, if you don't even know what that is right there, that big thing right there, get one of those. If you have, uh, like I get stuck stuff stuck in my teeth every now and then, like it's a real pain. Um, but those that thing works wonders. It works better than floss. Not that anybody cares, but I'm, I swear by it. Um, <laughs> see, you guys are learning a lot about my personal stuff, which is awkward and exciting to share at the same time, even though I realize that you don't care about it probably. Closet-wise, this is my stuff. I got rid of probably I half of my collar shirts. This is what I have left. I mean, I really, I dumped about literally 10 bags of clothes to Goodwill um, when we moved. Um, just tons and tons of stuff. Um, this is what's left of, of my polos, but I had literally cut colors of across the rainbow in all polos. Uh, T-shirts, what I have left. Um, I mean, it's horribly uh, laid out right now. I'm not, I didn't prep it for the, the thing, but all these are my T-shirts right here. And then I have like more and like these little cubby things and stuff. Um, and then here's my clone collection. But I actually have more than that. I, uh, yeah, and look at this. You guys are like, what is this? What is that? That's highly inappropriate looking. This is like a tester for a, an EpiPen because I'm allergic to shellfish. So I have to have this and you stick it in your leg for adrenaline. It's not anything inappropriate. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you have, I have all my jeans down here and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much it. I have no sneakers in this room hardly. I have a pair of the Jordan 4s in the Cinder 14s, which is a pair that I really love and just a couple random pairs. The wife has just a bunch of random stuff down here and then her scrubs for working and my, I know the focus is out, sorry. And then her clothes, she has quite a bit of clothes. But in the move, she lost a ton of clothes. We don't know what happened to it. So she's kind of pissed and kind of bummed about that. Doggy bed, there's me right there, if you guys wonder. Um, and we need a new mirror, it's something that's gonna happen. I didn't make the bed today, so it doesn't really matter. Lola's just chilling, watch this, she, wants a, she likes a belly rub. I don't know what she's doing, she's just chilling. They just sleep all day, I swear. Anyway, uh, yeah, bedroom, nothing too crazy. We need to get like a bedroom set, still in the process. Workout room, we removed the mat thingy down here, just decided to do it without it. And then um, the TV in here, and then the TV out here, nothing too crazy. And then I need to get the little like cord cover for this back uh, up in there. So that's upstairs. Let's hurry this video up because you guys don't care about this stuff that much. There's the privacy glass. You can see it's kind of weird. And then uh, a little decoration the wife put up there. All right, let's move down here. We got the living room. And this is like my favorite part, obviously. We got the new couches. This is a great addition. And the wife actually did this, where the, this one side of the couch like sticks out. So it's kind of like a little lounge area. And then it opens it up, and then we have the back door that leads out the side. So we couldn't do a sectional right here. Uh, we did that on purpose. Leather ottoman, and then the wooden, um, whatever the tray is i don't know what the hell it's called i love that also the uh the shag carpet is really cool too i'll show you that in a second uh spare bathroom as you guys already know that one was there and then the garage i'll show you guys the garage a little bit since i organize a lot of this and it's not it's very unorganized but regardless it's I do, it is what it is um garage stuff dj equipment over on this side finally have a place for it didn't have a place for it before and it was a real pain in the back side so i can actually set up my turntables in here which is great um Lawnmower, never thought I'd buy a lawnmower, but had to buy one. For our side yard, I'll show you guys that for a second, along with a little edger. Inversion table, even though I'll never use it. Spare chair, if anybody wants it, you can come pick it up. <laughs> and a ladder, I mean, I was excited to buy a freaking ladder, dudes. Uh, camping stuff up here. And it's cool to have this little up thing up here, and then I put my snowboards, my snowboard up here with the boots on it. I wanna get another rack just like this above, over above here, I want two racks above my um, my garage. I think that'll be fun. And I know you guys can't see anything here. And then I have sneakers out here in the garage, um, just random ones, Air Max. Um, the tuned airs from the Air Max Plus is from 
Champ Sports, and I apologize, it's really dark in here. One of my favorites, copper foams, and another one from Champ Sports right here. Nike for your trainer, 7.0s, great shoe. Anyway, just random kind of junk out here in the garage. Um, let's go back inside and take a look at stuff in here. Hopefully we can get some focus back. Focus, man. Uh, kitchen, nothing too, too crazy. Uh, Nike water bottle that the wife loves. Put some cucumber slices in there. It's delicious. Trust me. K-Cup maker for coffee. And then also we got this new thing over here, French press. And you make coffee with this little device thing here. You like grind the beans, put it in here, let put hot water in here and push it down and then pour it. And it's amazing. Especially with stuff like this, Stumptown. The newest investment in the house, a fly swatter, because we have to leave the door open for the dogs a lot. Um, kitchen area, I'll show you guys this. Um, and that's the new uh, pickup I got right there waiting for us for uh, me to do an unboxing. So I'll do that video pretty soon. But that, that way leads out and then this way leads to the front door over here. And then you can see the dining table, pretty nice. Uh, it's really nice actually set up for the price we got it for. Um, really solid wood as well and Lola doesn't really care. More sneakers, this is like stuff, this is like the pile of sneakers that we, we have to, uh, to grab to you know, take the dogs on a quick walk or whatever it might be. So that's what most of this stuff is up here. Then we use the other couch over on this side and then the ottoman um, and then she had this random little rug thing. And so the ottoman and stuff that is in this front room, we never sit in here. There's no points since we have the other couches now. Uh, but I don't know why houses do have things like this. I would have done other things personally, but it is what it is. Anyway, I need to put something up here. Uh, maybe leave a comment. What, do you, what type of artwork should I put up here? I personally think I should put some up related to Hawaii because uh, we love Hawaii a ton. Um, and maybe a, th a three panel art piece in the backdrop back here. We were thinking something like that would be cool, but I don't know if it would be too cheesy. Uh, and then something on this side right here, maybe a clock or something. Also, I got some Simpsons figurines again. So I've been posting these on my other channel. I do unpackaging of these. And so I got five more for that. And then I got my, my sneakers right there for another pickup video. And the last thing, um, yeah, I want to show you. Actually, let's go look at the other thing outside and we'll look at this real quick. So people are mowing a lot out here, but this is the outside area. You can see we have a grill cover right here. Pretty awesome. Go Beavs. And then, so it's just a teeny little yard, nothing fancy. We need to start watering it. We just bought a little sprinkler thing. Wife made a little garden over here, which is awesome. Uh, was a sandbox. Then this thing was something that we kind of invested in, a Weber. If you don't know about Weber grills, they're pretty darn expensive, but she wanted a Weber. I wanted a Weber. We all wanted a Weber, so we got, we got one. Uh, pretty exciting there. And then, of course, the, uh, the cover again. Go Beavs. So the last thing I'll show you guys, and then I know this video is long, is um yeah like this is pretty sweet it's like a wood thing i'm a barber and i mean look at it. it's like fancy and fun sorry about that i ended up just getting this package right here and the ups guy had some questions for me i just stopped the video um anyway uh the last thing i was trying to show you guys oh yeah oh yeah i, I took these pictures this is from hawaii you can't even see them because of the thing that's from hawaii just fun fun stuff um i also wanted to show you guys this i was trying to show you guys this dude Little me, little wife. How freaking hilarious is that? Uh, we had those pictures for our wedding and I found them in a, I don't know, in a box. And I was like, dude, we gotta use those. So put those out. And then also, look at this stunner right there. Look at how good she looks. Hi, oh, I did pretty good, right? That's uh, that's me. A lot of people are like, you're an agent? That's me right there. And also I have a uh, ukulele right there. And somebody needs to teach me how to use that because I have no idea how to do that. Um, and this, we didn't say how to Chloe earlier. So say hi to Chloe. Look at her little tail when you say your name. It's pretty funny. But Lola comes over and dominates. She's like trying to get all the attention. Um, see, she's right here. All right, Chloe. Thanks for uh, being a good buddy. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like the house tours slash sneaker room tour. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.